pass didn't go anywhere near him in uh, fact and it was Juan Jose who got it away to Isidro there's no doubt about it with a little bit of luck they might have had two or three goals in this second half as it is they've got a bit of defending to do as Juanito shot his charge down Gallego with a long way out and it's over the top and a goal kick for Strachan oh he just got there beat two of them left them on the ground now can Aberdeen can Aberdeen finish it off now Strachan tried to get it through in the end Cooper finds Weir who's offside that's the Aberdeen warming up all the substitutes three of them around there uh -huh. I don't know whether you can still hear the Aberdeen fans they're making all the noise sensing that it could be Aberdeen's night although it still remains at 1-1 and you have to watch out for the likes of Stelica making their breaks Willie Miller always oh, got caught up in the money game and Isidro was after him that was a hot stopper wasn't it yeah. it's the first time I'd seen that water in quite that state in that uh, Aberdeen penalty area McGee Simpson I must say my fears of Simpson and Cooper at the start of the second half not having quite the experience to deal in the midfield is quite unwarranted. Ah! Yes, there's a good jump again by Eric Black. And he got an elbow in his, uh, his face as well for his pains there from the defender. But he really has got spring heels, Eric Black. I think you had him on a coaching course, didn't you? Yes, we, yeah, with all the under-18 uh, Scottish youth team be the moment to bring on somebody like John Hewitt yes I mean the substitutions that Fergie has used in the previous rounds have certainly worked for him and if he brings you on tonight who knows and indeed it looks as though John Hewitt is going to come on very shortly at any rate just been shown that there are 17,804 spectators in the ground tonight I would hazard a guess that most of them come from Aberdeen and Madrid and not very many of them come from Gothenburg Juanito good run by him such a dangerous side on these breaks and they'll have to watch them it's McLeish's header was it Austin once more and Isidro but straight that time and keeper Leighton just two up for Aberdeen but Strachan is joining them and in a little bit of the space there to take McGee's pass oh Strachan's gone round Metcord and tries a little chip but it's just too high he spotted that Augustine was just off his line but you feel that the picture there is a picture of a man who could win this cup final yet yes you can fight the last 10 minutes or so little Gordon Strachan has uh really come into his own tried to chip the goalkeeper off his line there and made a poor job of it it's Eric Black who's going off and John Hewitt coming on John Hewitt in fact who got the winner against Bayern Munich in the quarter-final so his pedigree is excellent and I know although Eric Black has scored the goal and has really worked himself into the ground they'll have no qualms about putting John Hewitt on because he really has a nose for goal So Gallego now. Stilica. Juanito. Stilica. Gallego. Hell, okay, this patient build up, and suddenly it's met God finding Santiana trying to get Isidro, but Rugby was there. And I don't think, think Santiana wanted Isidro to make a slightly better effort for that one than he did. Let's see what Mark McGee can do. Ah, it's not a bad ball there, in fact, it's a very good one for Neil Simpson, who's got Weir outside him. 
And Hewitt waiting in the middle to substitute. McGee's come up as well. They got three in the middle with Strachan too. Aberdeen's throw. Camacho gets it away. Diego. Santiana's up front. Juanito's up front. This is Hell. Gallego. Camacho. Juan Jose. And away for the Real Madrid throw. Coming to the last seconds of normal time. And extra time at the moment looks a certainty. But wait, a corner for Real Madrid right at the last. And Santiana, in fact, beckoning everybody forward. Bonnet come forward, he's a six-footer. Metgod's come forward, he's a six-footer. And they've got to pull a few back of Aberdeen. And in fact, they've left only Mark McGee forward. And they got it away. In fact, it may even have been Hewitt who got the header in there. That's the end of 90 minutes. 1-1, which means we get 30 minutes of extra time. 1-1, one, one, remember. Gallego. And it was McMaster who got the left boot again to that one. San Jose. So we've got a Juan Jose and a San Jose playing in the Real Madrid side at the moment. But this is Bonnet on the ball for them now. Gallego. Finding Santiana. What a quiet game he's had. And uh, mind you, he could still be the most dangerous man on their side, but he hasn't really shown a lot of it yet. But here he is on the ball once more. That's uh, an interesting little overhead kick. They're all waiting. Well, Isidro was in, and uh, that was an incredible aberration by the Aberdeen defence. Standing and waiting after Santiana. Ian? It was Rugby, I think, who stood there and delayed. That was a definite chance, wasn't it? There's the overhead kick. There's the delay. That was good Rugby right enough. And that's fairly frenetic there on the bench. Alec Ferguson and... Uh, Archie Knox, and somebody is getting a right leathering. Do you think Fergie's angry there? I think it's... I'm not sure whether it would be a good idea for us to lip read or not, but uh, <laughs> he clearly was trying to get a message through. But it's with Neil Simpson at the moment. Oh, he's done well. He's got past Stilica. And the oh! cross will come in! Can Cooper get there in part? Cries with Scottish accents all around saying penalty, but the referee didn't want to know. But two players are still down and injured there. Neil Cooper, I think it is, for Aberdeen. And at the other end, the ball hits the back of Juanito. But Master tries to get the challenge in, and Willie Miller in the end gets it back to Lee. But Cooper is injured. It's a terrible crash as they both went in, and the ball got caught up for just a moment. And Suddenly it looked to be a scoring chance on for Aberdeen. That's where the ball got caught up and they both oh, went uh, I... down. And it'll be a drop ball. He's taking it right on the halfway line. Simpson. Five British winners so far. Aberdeen seeking to be the sixth. As Hewitt goes away and is brought down. Now from this angle, you couldn't see whether it was inside the box or out. He's given a corner kick. But I think he's given a corner in any case. Well, I thought he played the ball. Right, I thought he played the ball here. He might yep. have blocked the ball in the... So but a I corner would, it is. Yeah, fair, fair decision. And Peter Will will take it. Hewitt and Rugby. Cooper and McLeish are there too. Same towards. Oh, 
goodness, that nearly got in. Rugby's header. Good header by Rugby. Bonnet. Real again, Angel. Chipped in to Juanito, to Santillana. And a deflection, I think, probably off a defender, yes, for the corner. And still on these breaks, they look as though they can still unsettle Aberdeen. As we come to the last minute of the first period of extra time. Juanito with the corner for Real Madrid. Met God forward. Santiana's in there. Salguero, the substitute who's just come on, is in there too. And a tremendous shot by Santiana. Beautifully saved by Leighton. And Hewitt getting himself in a pickle. What a good shot that was by uh, Santiana. And Leighton really big behind it. Weir, nice little touch there. Now McMaster. Gently forward. Weir. And off the defender for another throw. But no time to take it. That's half time of extra time. 15 minutes now to go. Before we get to penalties. So Aberdeen then. Get us away at the start of the last quarter of an hour. Of tonight's action with the possibility of those dramatic penalties coming up ever closer. Now, would you believe they're in a stop, Ryan, in the last couple of minutes? Weir, he certainly hasn't stopped. It's not a bad cross. Salguero there, just turning it back. The number 12 has come on, Salguero. Madrid drum still beating out. The Aberdeen fans cheering their team on. Still 1-1 with just over 10 minutes of extra time remaining. This is San Jose for Real Madrid. A little flick in towards his captain Santiano. McMaster being chased out there by Juanito. McMaster keeping good control and a nice pass there for Simpson. And a chance again for Aberdeen to make the break. Can they find the goal that really matters in the 10 minutes or so that are left? 1-1 one, one still. Peter Weir. Chance for his little cross in there towards Mark McGee. Flicked on towards Hewitt. They've got nothing there. The flag was up for a foul by Hewitt on the keeper. A few hopeful shouts for a penalty, but I think it was a long way from that. Keeper quite clearly going for the ball and taking it. And then really struggling to get to it. <laughs> well, here come Real Madrid now. Played towards their captain, Santiana, but very well watched again by William Miller. Simpson getting it to McMaster. San Jose. Tackled by Hewitt, but still got the ball to Metgood. Gallego, Angel, and the flag was up. That's a free kick to Real Madrid. I think uh, Aberdeen were quite optimistic about it going their way. But Juanito is going to take it. Again, they've got Metgod forward. Salguero's in there. Santiana, dangerous in the air, of course. Gallego, also there. Nito with the corner, McMaster with a good header away. But uh, it comes to Juan Jose. Nito again, Juan Jose. Aberdeen have got to find some strength in those legs to hustle for a few more minutes yet. And they've done so, Weir. That's a good ball for, from Peter Weir. And now Aberdeen with McGee making the break. And Hewitt waiting in the middle! Oh! Hewitt!
Well, what a fantastic goal. And Hewitt has done it again, coming on as a substitute. And let's hope that's a winner as well. Marvellous goal. Could have we started it with a ball down the line. McGee took it on, over it came, and there was Hewitt at the back post. The Aberdeen fans are going mad behind this year's tremendous scenes. Well, they, the clock will almost stop for them now. But they're still going on, it could be another one. The keeper did well there to save from where. Now can Real Madrid pick themselves up from this position? No, oh, Cooper says, get into touch. That was Mark McGee actually there, Brian. Got himself into a lovely position, what's clear. I mean, that would have been lovely if he managed to score with that one. So it's Stelica. It's Juan Jose, and Aberdeen have got to hold them out. Towards the keeper, Jim Layton, no trouble. San Jose, that was a good bit of control. Salguero. Gallego. Hewitt has got right back there, got a useful little header in before Juan Jose could do anything about it. Di Stefano is going mad on the line now. To get his side, he hopes back on terms. No mistakes now must come from Aberdeen. There's another cross and a dangerous coming into their box, but Leighton again is there. The watch says a little over five minutes to go. Wasn't a very good clearance by Leighton, but fortunately for him it came off a Real Madrid player and it's gone for an Aberdeen throw. Going frantic on the bench for Jim Leighton, they were saying get that ball forward much more than that. Five minutes left. Can Aberdeen become the sixth British side to win the Cup Winners' Cup? Spurs in 63 with Bill Nicholson. West Ham in 65 with Ron Greenwood. Manchester City in 1970 with Malcolm Allison and Joe Mercer. Chelsea in 71 with Dave Sexton. And Glasgow Rangers in 72 with Willie Waddle and Jock Wallace. And here are Aberdeen looking to make it six. Rugby now on the ball for them. That's a cross in, but it's a keeper's ball. A little throw out to Juan Jose. A little under five minutes left. Gallego. Time hangs really heavy for them now. It's flying by for Real Madrid. Salguero playing the long ball forward. Willie Miller gets it away. It needs somebody to control and hold it, as Mark McGee did then. And now Simpson. And played it once more for McGee. Can he finish it off now? No. Jinking run, but Juan Jose not happy with perhaps the roasting he got from Peter Weir a moment or two ago with the cross that led for John Hewitt's second goal. And there's animation around the place now. And a free kick for Aberdeen. On my watch, just about three minutes left. McGee must have used an elbow or something there on the Real Madrid player San Jose so it's a free kick for Real Madrid 2-1 to Aberdeen well that clock says three minutes to go Willie Miller away and that's an interesting ball the keeper's got to come right out now what? Well, if Strachan can get it off him, but he can't, but it's Aberdeen's throw. Well, it's all happening now, isn't it? In the last five minutes, Aberdeen's had a couple of chances. That was almost uh, going to be something a bit special if Gordon had managed to get the ball off him. Well, certainly for British football, it'd be lovely to see them do it. Hewitt, man who scored that second goal, 
Yes. And a shot's just wide from Simpson. Because they're a very good club, Aberdeen. They are well managed and well run. A super club. Stilica played it again for Bonnet. And now for Angel. Oh, and he's given a free kick now. Now this could be a problem for Aberdeen. A free kick for Real Madrid, about two yards outside the penalty area, with one minute of extra time remaining. It looks as though it might be a blast at goal. It can't really be anything else. And the referee wants the Aberdeen wall back another couple of yards. Salguero with the blast, right past the post. When I saw that go past the keeper, I thought for one horrible moment it was going into the corner of the Aberdeen net. But no, it's past the post as Jim Layton went flying across his goal. And Aberdeen are almost there. On my watch, there are five seconds of extra time remaining. All they've got to do is just keep their heads for a second or two more. They've done it. Aberdeen have won the Cup Winners' Cup by two goals to one. Eric Black and a brilliant headed goal by John Hewitt. The goal scorers for Aberdeen. And Juanito from the penalty spot for Real Madrid. What a marvellous finish for Aberdeen when it looked as though their heads were down a little bit when they were pulled back to 1-1. But then... They found some fresh reserves, particularly in the second half, and they, in many respects, dominated the second half, and then got a winner that was thoroughly deserved when Weir went down the left and hit that beautiful cross in for Hewitt to come soaring in and put it into the net. A brilliant, battling performance in the most appalling conditions by Aberdeen. The Aberdeen fans have plenty to cheer, as at this moment, Willie Miller, an excellent captain on a difficult night. And there's the other captain, and that's the other side of the story, of course. But that's the happy side, with Aberdeen winning their first European trophy. And the way they are managed and administered, you have the feeling it won't be the last. Neil Simpson, the young man, number eight in midfield, who had a tremendous battle right the way through it. Mark McGee, who kept fighting and kept being fouled, but he kept going on. John McMaster, Peter Weir. Lovely cross for the goal. So, a final score then here at Gothenburg. Aberdeen 2, Real Madrid 1.